I think definitely when we sat down after the automatic cycle and we talked about writing like the next record, there was something which was all front of our minds, which was this new group of songs that we're going to write has to be the most fun ever to play live because live is the only reason we're a band, it's the only reason we've been able to survive as a band for this long is because we like playing shows and people want to come to them. So it really was as black and white as let's write the songs that are going to be so good live that we enjoy it, the crowd enjoy it. And so that really has come across in the writing process. It's probably the one key factor that's informed how the songs sound. It's why everything sounds heavier. It's why it feels like it's got more energy. Um, and that's why it's definitely a kind of reaction against the, the previous record, even though at that point that was what we wanted to write. At this point, this felt like the, the right way to go for us. For us, Automatic was like, you know, that was the album that obviously took us to the next level as a, as a live band. It was the most touring we'd ever done. And we figured out, we kind of knew this was, was going to be the case when we were actually writing Automatic. We wrote Automatic as a studio album. We very much wrote it as uh, a kind of, almost like a smooth rock listening experience. And that's, that's what we focused our efforts in, in the studio. And then when we came to actually playing it live, we ended up changing up some of the arrangements quite a bit. Yeah, quite uh, just to make it more fun live and make it sound louder and bigger and what you want from a live show. So this time we were like, well, you know, let's, we've never made a conscious effort to, to make stuff sound good from a live, in a live way straight away on record. So we kind of took that as a, as a kind of lead. Almost and I guess- kind of Working backwards in a sense yeah. from what we've done before. But that, is, that really sums up how we operate as a band. Like we always kind of rebel against ourselves. Like, Automatic was probably kind of like a little rebellion against priorities and the sound of our record. And we've kind of done that again and gone, it's gone the other way. against <laughs> yeah. Automatic. But there are still obviously elements we've taken forward. Yeah. Of the sort of the smooth sound from Automatic. I'm not sure if you could ever really look back and say, I wish I'd done this differently or that differently because you just you can never predict anything. Like you never really know. Mm. You, you know, we'll put out an album and we won't be able to tell you what we, people's favourite song will be. You have to look at Twitter the next day and just find out. And then not even then. I mean, you still don't. You know. don't know. Like, I mean, we've still got. I definitely. It changes when I look at back at songs we've written in the past for both albums. It's still like. I wouldn't say I really listen to our songs that much, it's very rare for us to go back, but occasionally a song will come on, whatever, and you're like, wow, that was, that was right, I forgot we wrote that song, and then you kind of rediscover your old mus music. But no, I think, yeah, definitely with this album, the, the kind of easiest way, the most obvious thing for us to do was like, we wrote quite a smooth record last time, let's just go as brutal as we can, full Don Broco. Um, and I think we've gone in some, Definitely in some areas of the record, we've gone to like our furthest way kind of heavier than we went with priorities before, yeah. or before. There's like one riff in particular that Simon played us. I remember and it just like, well, what is this? It's disgusting. It's so like, it's just made us feel a bit, made us feel unsettled. Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a riff. Still, so. There's a riff in a song called Yen and um, it went through various changes and one of the parts of it was this riff and it just gave us this weird feeling. It was like, it's probably one of the heaviest things I've ever heard, not from us, but like from, from a lot of bands. And then somehow we made it work in the song. So for that, you know, for Don Broco, that was really exciting for us to get that in.